Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the platinum cowl. This is a really pretty and very easy to crochet cowl. And for this project, you're going to need a 9mm N crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a large tapestry needle for weaving in your ends. The yarn I used for this project was for the cowl that I have finished here, I used the Isaac Mizrahi Craft. Uh, this is made by Premier Yarns, and this particular yarn is called Carnegie Hill, and this is the Audubon colorway. And it's sort of a soft silver with kind of some uh, subtle gold thread going through. It's sort of a novelty yarn. And for this tutorial though, I'm gonna be using one, another platinum looking yarn. This is kind of a, a soft silver. This is Lion Brand's Hometown USA. So it looks just as platinum as this one, except for it doesn't have the thread. So two different looks, you can use either one. They both work with this larger hook. The finished sizing of the cowl is eight inches tall and has a 34 inch circumference. However, if you wanna change the sizing of your cowl, that's a, a question I get frequently um, for these cowl patterns, is um, you can change the length of your starting chain if you want the circumference to be larger or smaller. And if you wanna change the height of your cowl, simply work more rounds of the pattern if you want it to be taller. So let's get started. We're going to begin our cowl by putting a slip knot on our hook. To make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your crochet hook, and bring up that loop, and then go ahead and tighten that onto your hook. Next, we're going to do our starting chain. To make a chain, wrap yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. Our starting chain has 48. So we're going to, that's one, so let's do 48 chains. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here is our starting chain. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna join to make a circle, to make our cow. This will be the beginnings of our cow. So in the chain farthest from your hook, so go all the way to the end here, the first chain you made, you're going to insert your hook into that chain and make a slip stitch to join, okay? So insert your hook into the chain, then take your yarn, wrap it around the hook and bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook, just like that. So we now have a circle and Next, we're going to move on to round one. So round one, and I also wanted to quickly mention this little tail here from where we started. I'm gonna hold this along the edge of my work as I work these uh, next stitches we're about to do, and that will weave this in as we go along. So that'll save you a little step at the end. So what we're gonna do to begin round one is chain three. One, two, three. Okay, so in the next chain that you come to, or in your circle, you're going to work a double crochet. I wanted to mention, this chain three counts as one of our double crochets. So in the next chain, to make a double crochet into that chain, we're gonna wrap the yarn around the hook, insert the hook into the chain. I'm also incorporating that tail. Bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, Bring it through the last two loops on your hook. That's the double crochet. So we're going to work a double crochet in each one of these chains all the way around our cowl. Okay, so I'm gonna work a few and then we'll rejoin in a few moments and I'll show you how to close the round. So we're just working double crochets in each chain all the way around. So I'm just coming up to the end of the round here. And again, we worked a double crochet in each one of these chains all the way around. I'm just working the very last one in that last chain. 
So then what we're going to do is we're going to join where we begin. This is our chain three, just at the top of that chain three. We're going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. So insert your hook into that top chain of that, that chain three you did at the beginning of the round. Bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook, and we've closed our round. So it should look like this, just a band of double crochet stitches. So let's move on to row two. Row two, if we go back to our cowl that we did, row two, the, the cowl is alternating rows of double crochet and double treble crochet. Double treble crochet is a little bit taller than a treble crochet stitch, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But we're doing alternating rows of double crochet and double treble crochet. So round two is our first double treble crochet round. That's a mouthful. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we worked our chain five. So in the next stitch, we're going to work our first double treble crochet. So what you want to do is wrap the yarn around the hook three times. One, two, three. Insert the hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. Just like that. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the last two loops. Just like that. And you can see how tall that stitch is. It's very similar to the treble crochet. You're just doing an extra wrap. Um, around the hook with the yarn when you begin. Okay, so I'm just going to get a little bit more yarn here. So what we're going to do for the remainder of the round is just work a double treble crochet in each stitch all the way around. So let's do a few more together. So one, two, three times around the hook, insert the hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring through the last two loops. Our next double treble crochet is complete. We'll do one more. One, two, three around the hook. Insert the hook into the stitch, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the last two loops. As you can see, because these stitches are so tall, this is why this project is so fast to do. Now, if we look at our other one, you can see it almost gives like a, a ladder effect. Makes it look a little bit lacy with those decorative holes. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep do, working double treble crochets in each stitch all the way around our cowl. And when I get closer to the end of this round, I'll show you how to join this round as well. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the end of round two, and again we worked double treble crochets in each one of these stitches all the way around. So I'm just working the very last one of our round, and then once you're finished, you can join this chain five that we did just at the top of this chain five. You can join with a slip stitch to close the round, same as we did for round one. So that is what it looks like when you finish that round. And you can see the stitches um, a little bit better because the, the thread, uh, the novelty thread woven throughout here kind of gives it extra texture and um, doesn't really hide the stitches, but I think they're a little bit easier to see here be because there's no thread throughout this one. So you can really see the difference that changing the yarn uh, does, even though it's almost the exact same color. So then for round three, round three is pretty much round one, except for instead of working in this into this starting chain, we're gonna be working into the stitches. So I'm just gonna show you the beginning of round three, and then I'm gonna show you how to finish off your cowl, how to fasten it off, and how to do the finish work on your cowl. So I'm just gonna show you again the beginning of this round. So for round three, we're just gonna chain three, same thing we did for round one. And then in that next stitch, we're just gonna work double crochets. So work a double crochet in that stitch, and in each stitch all the way around round three. 
So just keep doing that all the way around. And because we did this in round one, um, you'll know what to do. And it, you close it with a slip stitch. So that's, that's round three. Um, but what I want to do is just take my hook out for a sec. And then I just want to back up. We're just going to pretend we finished our cow. So we fastened off with a slip stitch. So what we're going to do, um, so rounds two and three, just repeat those rounds until you either get the height of the cow that you want or eight inches, whatever comes first, or until you run out of yarn like I did. That's how my cow became eight inches tall because I ran out of yarn. And once I tried it on, I really liked the way it draped and everything. So it ended up being the perfect height for the way I wanted it to look. So once you're finished and your cowl is as tall as you'd like it to be and you've repeated rounds two and three as many times as you like, you're just going to cut the yarn and go ahead and fasten that off. Just like that, pull it tight. Then you're gonna take your tapestry needle and you're gonna turn your cowl, we can move our yarn out of the way now because we're finished with that, we're gonna turn our cowl inside out, okay? Then we're gonna thread our yarn onto our tapestry needle. And because we're using super bulky yarn, you wanna make sure your tapestry needle is pretty large. So just thread that in there. Then you're just going to weave that in. And what I like to do is go in one direction with the yarn, just like that. And then I like to make a U-turn and come back in the other direction. And that will kind of lock that little tail into place and hopefully keep it from popping out. When you weave in your ends, there's always a chance things might pop out, but going in both directions helps with that a lot. So go ahead and trim that off. You can put all this stuff aside and then just turn your cowl right side out. And again, you know, you'll want to work more rounds, but our cowl will be complete at this point. Once you work the rounds you want, Fasten it off and weave in your ends. And then you'll, your cow will look like this or depending on what yarn you use. So that is how you crochet the platinum cow. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.